all right guys this is another de stash so these are what's left over these um, ladies here and I'll just go through them quickly what I did for all those cabinet cards that I had I divided out all the kids after um, my kits so this is a de stash but if you watch my video I made these economy packs um, that are in my Etsy shop and they all have a vintage book a lot of paper some ledger and three cabinet cards and I tried to put the cabinet cards in there to where they were you know two females a male two females a kid a baby um, a male and a female a family type of thing so this is what's left and this is the D stash you've got these Lamode 1868 original journal papers lots of fashion this is where I got a lot of my digitals from oh my gosh three years ago something like that so anyway this is what's left of my cabinet card so this is a D stash I'm gonna call it the La Mode uh, illustrate illustration illustrate a D stash okay so you've got this lady this one let me show you the backs of them If you guys haven't uh, gone over to see who Bernadette Banner is, I'll link her below. She has a huge following. Um, she is just a whippersnapper. I mean, she's so smart and so um, stays in character, I would say, <laughs> in terms of, you know, what she's focused on. I mean, she dresses like, she looks like she came, like, straight out of the past, out of this era. <laughs> um, just a really, really smart girl. And I can call her a girl because she's she's um, older, younger than my daughter would be, I'm sure. Okay, so there's that. My daughter would be 39 if she were with me still. So I can call Benedict Banner a girl because she, she's a girl to me. Okay, then you've got, so how many is that, guys? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these. So 11 cabinet cards and then and I'm not keeping any of these I I've, I've loved these I don't even think I've used them all like you know I scanned some of the fashion um, out of them I think the girls I've used them a lot of people have uh, images of them and have loved on them and used them and so I've gotten you know and I didn't scan all of them it's just some of them and yeah, this this would this is just great. This is a great paper. Um, so it's the Lamode um, Illustray, and let me see how many papers are in here. Whoops, is that together? Eighteen. See, this says number seventeen, eighteen. This one says twenty-three, and it's got some beautiful staining there. That's not of my doing or making. Um, and then it's more now this looks like where I probably yeah these are the girls that I scanned and I just love them so much they're so beautiful so you'll get the original of those and you can scan them if you want they are retired I will not take them out of retirement um, I don't know that's an image of a bird um, oh I love this this is um problems of courtship and um, these pages are fun. They're going to be, some of these pages are in another D stash uh, coming up. And it just talks about the proper things um, that women should do when they're, you know, trying to court. So right here it says cost of last formal dance. It gives you the cost of, of how much the dance. Oh, can I get rid of that blue? I hate it when my videos look bluey. Not that there's anything wrong with the blue and the sun is shining like really bright today. I wonder if I turn off this light. Hold on. Let me see. Does that help? Mm, not really. kind of makes it even worse, I think. Yeah, it makes it worse. Okay, I'll just keep going. I'll keep trudging along. Um, anyway, this book is about... Um, Put on my ring light maybe um, so right here it says here's the one I want it tells you the cost of what the formal dance should be the dues that you're gonna pay the room at the alumni house slippers stockings girdle 
evening miscellaneous shampoo and finger wave <laughs> total for all of that thirty two dollars and fifty five cents <laughs> This would be so fun, blown up to smithereens in terms of letter and text. Oh, it would just be so fun. I just think it's hilarious. And here's a formal dance at a college. Dues, dinner, man's room, and meals. Total six, uh, $26. And it just goes on and on. It's just hilarious. Average weekend expense, typical weekend expense out of town. Which is really cool because it kind of gives you like a planner, like what, you know, to plan for what you're going to spend. Here's shoe shine and gasoline. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I've shown that a long, 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 long time ago. And I, I've since dispersed a lot of the pages, I mean, kits. Um, but anyway, it was a courtship book. But it says problems of courtship, mind you. Okay. Anyway, that's in there. Now, this was, I guess that's just in there for whatever. It's in there. Um, okay, so let's look at these. These were ones that I took out, and I'll show you those. Let me just open this up again. I'm trying my best. Look how beautiful these girls are. These girls I have not scanned. So, like I'm, you know, like I'm saying is um, you can scan these yourselves if you, yourself if you choose to. Um, but I promise you I won't. Um, take my digitals that have these girls in them. I won't take them out of retirement. So um, they are yours now um, to do whatever you'd like. Um, if you remember, oh, let's see who used those in their journal. They they gifted to me. I think it was Dolores or it might have been Donna. I don't remember. It was one of them who used um, the you know used them, and I was like, ah, my girls, because they're so beautiful. Um, you can find lots of people scanning this kind of stuff now, but I, I was doing this like, I don't know, three years ago, because I, you know who really in, uh, um, sort of encouraged me with her videos and her work, um, Daisy, Tsunami Rose, um, especially with the Sears and Roebuck um, things, the things that you could, that you can scan from, from those catalogs. Um, but I went on the hunt um, for old stuff, and these are dated 1868. So, yeah, I, I, I did this a while ago, long, long time ago. And Daisy is the one that I got my inspiration from. And I did buy these from a lady in, in France. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, these are beautiful girls. I just love them. I think they make beautiful cards, um, beautiful images. Inside you've got, and it's pretty fragile, and I won't be able to show everything, but I'll just kind of flip through so you can see. Purses and lace. Um, hair. I, I scanned these girls here, or a couple of them. Um Hair dress appears is what that is. Lots of beautiful text in French with emphasis. The kids, I never scan that. Aren't they adorable? And then this is number 18. This one looks a bit suspect. Look at that hair. We might might have a Sandy Negro there, guys. <laughs> that would be me when I was a kid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me stop being silly. Um, I'm I'm being silly, but I'm very for real. Um, that hair looked very suspect right there. Okay, um, and then you've got all of these cute little girls and umbrellas, and I did not scan this page at all. Very, very cute. Look at her, the little teacher. Cute little outfits. Lots of text in French. Newspapery text. Didn't scan these girls. Only scanned a few. And you've got fashion and dress. And this is um tapestry. I can make that out in French. Lord help me, Jesus. 
love the flower the uh, foliage and flower images as well those are really pretty and unique um, these girls are gorgeous look at that dress so I was saying about Bernadette Banner you guys have to go watch you just have to go watch her she's she's really captivating and just just a really smart um, um, young lady she's really 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 bright um, and just so focused on her her thing and I love that Oh, I, got, I love it so much. To be young and that focused on something specific um, is just great. But these are really pretty uh, dress images there. Every time I look at that kind of thing now, I, I think about her. Um, just because, you know, that's her thing, man. So there's that. Then these ladies, um, I scanned these two girls um, for sure. Look at their outfits. Their dress so pretty. I'm going to keep this under, try to keep it under 20, guys. And then there's some lace there, and it's talking about the headdresses. And I don't know what you call these thingies here. It says Birth ABC Basques. I love this picture here. It almost reminds you of the dollar bill. The sort of um, or etching or something like that that's what the, the images the illustrations feel like to me <clears throat> like you know old dollar old money I think I scanned her and these girls I did not scan these ladies aren't they beautiful they're just so pretty Here's a uh, little guy, I think. This one is number 27, again, 1868. This is pretty. Look at her dress. Love the black, the dark. Just gorgeous. Can you imagine all the work that goes into that? This is ni uh, number 19. You guys see that okay? Put it up a little closer. There we go. And then there's even some music over here with some lace and other um, handwork, hand needle tapestry stuff, handwork lacy stuff. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love this lady here. She would be pretty in a garden book. I remember, um, I think I did scan her, and I remember when I scanned her, I was thinking like, oh, she would be pretty like in a garden journal. She's clipping her flowers. She's got a fan in her hand, and so does she. She's reading, got a book, love her. Fan in the hand, and she doesn't have anything in her hand. It says corsage in muslin. In muslin. I think it's muslin is what that's supposed to mean, I guess. Corsage in muslin unique is what that says. I'm sure my French ancestors are rolling around in their grave and they were, you know, they were black and white French. <laughs> the teapot here. This almost looks like a apron of sorts. I'm not sure. Isn't that beautiful? So there you have that. And what else? Hold on, let me get it together. I don't want to rip these pages, guys. They're really, really fragile. Let me just open this one up on top and just keep going from there. I can't remember if I scanned these girls or not. I don't think so. If I did, I don't think they were in my digitals. I, I yeah. I only did a, a few. And here we have... Um, Bordered uh, poor tap tapis de table. This is for a table, something embroidered for a table. These are pretty embroidered letters over here.
Ooh, tatting, guys, look. I have the patience of Job, but not for that. <laughs> oh my God, I stopped crocheting because my patience, I, I have patience for it, but I just, it's the time mostly for me for crocheting. I love to crochet. Um, I just don't have the time anymore. I gotta teach these kids in America. This is really cool. This is a purse with lots of pretty handwork um, stuff on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And look at this doily there. Isn't that gorgeous? And it shows you the different tatting um, ways that it's put together, I guess. Isn't that beautiful? That would be really cool scanned on a whole page and used in collages. So many possibilities. Use your imagination. And then here are the babies. Look at the babies. This is um, uh, number 25. The babies um, in this time and some of the illustrations look, they have adult faces. They're kind of scary looking, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, they just look so serious. And so, look at her playing with her doll. She looks childlike, sort of. But, yeah, they just look like adults. It's kind of like... But that's the drawings, I guess. That's just the way the, the style of drawing people were. Or is. The style is of drawing people was. Okay, so there's that. Um, so there... I can't count these. It's just what you saw. Okay? And there are other number um, additions inside of there. You saw that. Okay? So there are those... That was something randomly down in there. I think that came in there with it. And then there's my courtship. I forget what the name of that book was, but it's so funny. That's really worth reading, especially in the 21st century, um, in our century now. And then 11 of these cabinet cards. While I'm at it, let me add to this, guys. I just thought, you had a thought here. Oh my goodness. And this might be pushing it a little bit, but I think I'm going to tack on to this lot here. Uh-oh, you're going to hear my husband drilling and stuff. He's fixing our door. Our dogs can go in and out of our house on their own. They can open the doors, um, the back door and the front door. Um, because the way we have it, the way my husband has it made, customized for them to, to be able to do that. I mean, they, they knew how to do it even before he customized it, but he made it even easier for them. So he's fixing um, some part where they have just been in and out over and over and over, and it's kind of loose. So if you hear any drill, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so I decided to add in, let me do this carefully, because one of these books um, has, you know, some of this orange stuff that comes off. This is the ledger, and you're not going to be able to see the whole thing. This is the ledger that um, I got. I don't know where I got this from. I can't remember. But it's big. It is a big ledger. Okay? So I'm going to put this in as part of... Um, whoops, it's upside down. Part of the... These, this is the ledger. Wait, hold on, guys. Okay, this is really awkward because it's so big. This is the ledger, some of the ledger pages that I put in the kits that, that are listed in my Etsy store. Um, the economy pack kits. So it came out of here, and I'm leaving this much in there. Okay, so that's quite a bit, actually. Okay, about a quarter of an inch. All right. So there's that much left in there and they're just left in there because I just left them in there so you'll get that beautiful beautiful handwriting and the book this binder cover all right and then um, so there's that one it measures uh, hang on let me grab my ruler okay it measures let's see and I'm doing it from up to the edge um, eight and a half by let's see 13 14 and then the spine is oh my god this thing is so fragile is about two and three four inches okay 
So there's that one. And I will put these in separate bags because they're so fragile. Oh my gosh, they're so fragile. Um, they're just gorgeous. Um, if I make journals, I mean, I, I just I just love them. This one, um, you can rub and put it on stuff and it doesn't um, rub off on anything like the other one does. This is the one I got from Sophia. And what I've left in here, um, I've left in, look at that beautiful spine, all that work. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? beautiful 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 um, and what I've left in is the the back page which is very card stocky and the tabs okay so those are all there except for yeah there's a few missing I think yes there's a few missing um, so it's G through G through Y is in there okay and then you've got the front page love this that in itself would be a really cool cover um, and you've got some uh, you know just the, the tab pages in there okay lots of writing okay so this ledger cover with some pages in it and this ledger cover with pages in it and these Lamode sheets old 1868 newspapers and other little ephemera and these beautiful um, cabinet cards okay so that is the lot actually I decided at the last minute to add these in there these books in there okay so that's gonna be um, another lot guys um, and I have more coming you need me oh oh okay 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 so that's yeah so that's one lot um, there and um, I think this this is a fun set okay and um, it feels good to um, let these things go into some hands who will do some other different things with them. They will have several lives. They've had their original life, um, the life uh, before I found them and scored them, the life that I gave them, and now it's your turn. <laughs> okay, so there's that. I will be back with more.